Alexander Usyk says, only Fury thinks he's the king of kings. I am capable of beating him. Well, is he wrong? Let's talk about it. The weight in the fix, flex the lab is one in the six. Hey, fit the runner boy, you need no question. Yo, you were when a motherfucker high stepping. Hey, you never had a big enough weapon. Hey, motherfucker, never learn your lesson. Right, I'm an 88 pack nigga. Boo. I'm an 88 pack nigga. Boo. I mean, they walk a drink, blood things out for more motherfucker. Change like a hoe. I'm just a nigga from the hood trying to stack a little cheddar for the money. Drew Titan Bronze on deck. Shout out to the mighty LDBC. Y'all heard the title. <laughs> Link will be in the description, boxing scene. I just found this, you know, I'm not going to say strange, but um, this has already been a very weird year. So I'm going to go ahead and read this. Y'all know the drill. Unified heavyweight champion, Alexander Usyk, is fully confident in his ability to defeat WBC world champion Tyson Fury in a potential unification. In September, Usyk outboxed Anthony Joshua for 12 rounds to capture the unified heavyweight crown. Usyk will now face AJ in a rematch, which is being targeted for a date in March. And earlier this month, Fury retained his WBC belt when he knocked out Deontay Wilder in the 11th round in their trilogy matchup in the Team Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. Fury is potentially headed in the direction of a mandatory defense against Dillian White in the first quarter of 2022. Right. <laughs> Should Fury and Usyk win their respective fights, they will then fall in line to collide in a full division unification. What happened to the Otto Valin fight? I don't know. Stay tuned. Dillian hurt his uh, shoulder. Ow. He hurt his shoulder. Ow. But why fight Otto Valin? High risk, low reward when I can go straight to Tyson Fury. Makes sense, Dillian. There's a lot of injuries going around, right? What's that? Doctor's notes? What's, what are the doctor's notes? Oh, Errol Spence. He provided all kinds of documentation to show that his injury was for real. But then, you know, still got people that feel that uh, he ducked Manny Pacquiao, which is absolutely absurd and crazy. We all know that documentation beats conversation. Right? But uh, whatever. Many observers believe Usyk will be too small to beat Fury. But the 2012 Olympic gold medalist winner disagrees. He says... I do regard this fight is a huge one, mm -hmm. pun intended. As you know, Fury's so big and Usyk is small in comparison to Fury. All right, I see him as a very good fighter, good athlete. He talks a lot. He has a huge tongue. Pause, pause, pause. He claims he's the king of kings, but it's only it's only he who thinks that. That's what I can say about him. Usyk told the Sun. Before my uh, Joshua fight, everyone was saying that I haven't got a single chance to win and beat Joshua. I used to hear those types of things throughout my life. I'm capable of beating Fury because I'm not boasting that I can just punish and beat every boxer in the world. But I just go to the gym and do my job. I'm not trying to present myself as the king of the universe. I do what I have to do. I concentrate and I'm focused and... I get the result according to my effort. That's the article, is my opinion. What he's saying is right. Nobody pegged him to win. Nobody, nobody pegged him to beat AJ. Only a handful of people did. I'm not gonna say no one, but only a handful of people did. Um, the fight played out how it played out. Every time he touched AJ, AJ got hurt. He felt it, which made me wonder what the hell's going on. Then he almost got him out of there in the 12th round. Again, what the hell's going on? Uh, Tyson Fury has a good enough chin. I don't know how well his chin is now after Wilder done checked it. Um, 
normally people that fight Deontay are never the same. So maybe he gets in there with Usyk, and all of a sudden he's feeling everything that Usyk throws at him when he hits him in the face. But here's the problem. You got to hit Tyson in the face. Tyson is a pretty good standard boxer. All right? Um, and he's tall. So Usyk is going to have to, like, literally jump up to hit him sometimes. <laughs> We ain't that, you know, he's not that unreachable, but if anyone can tag him and can match him skill for skill, it would be Usyk, but a really skilled big man should be able to beat a skilled little man. So who wins this fight? A lot of people will lean towards Fury, right? Um, but... Usyk is right. Everyone lean towards AJ. AJ didn't get it done. Can Usyk compete against Fury? I'm going to say yes. Why not? Does he win? I don't know. Everyone will say 70-30 Fury. 60-40 Fury. 51-49 Fury. But what do we know? Fury has to get up for his fights. If he's not interested, he's just not going to fight. Um, do you bet against Usyk in this case? I don't know. But it's been a very, very peculiar year of boxing, has it not? I wouldn't write Usyk off in this. I wouldn't. I think Fury has a better chin than AJ. But again, after the Wilder fight, how good is his chin now? We don't know. Um, so I understand if people will pick Fury to win this. But um, I'm not going to write Usyk off. No. Nope. Especially if Fury's not motivated. You know what I mean? But um, shout out to Usyk, man. That guy's all business. He shows up. Look at how he walks into wherever he was walking into. Look at that. It's not a huge entourage. He's focused. Shout out to Usyk, man. Respect to that guy. And um, I know that fight is based off of what happens between... Uh, Fury and Dillian White, but I want to know what's happening really with uh, him and Otto Valine. Will, uh, will something happen as far as legal legal action taken? Is he really hurt? Can we see a doctor's note? I mean, fighters, when you claim an injury, man, you need you need all kinds of proof nowadays, man. But you see how one person could ruin everything for every ruin it for everybody. One person. Look at what they're doing to Otto Valen. So now he has to wait and then fight Dillian White and then probably fight Usyk. I mean, look, look at all this. is a lot of trouble over one lie. Yeah, and I think Dillian White's lying, but um, this is about Usyk. Shout out to Usyk. Does he have a chance against Fury? Yeah, he does. Um, It's boxing. He has a chance. So, um... For now, it's fantasy because we got to wait and see what happens over there. But for now, it's fantasy. But he, had, he does have to get past AJ first. And depending, depending on what AJ has learned, whether it's with McCracken or Ronnie Shields or whoever he's shopping for over here, if anybody, you know how that goes. Could be a pump fake. But let's see what happens. If, um, if AJ doesn't get it done and Usyk has been in the ring with Fury, Right now, it's wishful thinking. For some, it's wishful. But let's see what happens. But a uh, shout out to Usyk, and uh, I admire his confidence. I admire his skill set, and uh, he's he's fun to watch. And uh, you know, with everything going on in boxing, it is a fun era in boxing. With everything going on, minus the garbage. So. Let's see what happens, but shout out to Usyk. Bronx on deck. 
Move!